everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ness and in today's video, we are dreaming a very sweet dream of Mori. Mori was created by Danae, also known as Danae Crossing on Twitter. So please be sure to go check her out over there and look at her wonderful work. As always, Mori's dream address and Danae's social media will be in the description as well. But let's get started. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up to support the channel and subscribe to join our family. Alright, so let us begin by looking at the map of Mori. We have beautiful landscaping and terraforming and I'm loving the big lake that we will be visiting to the left and I also love the curvature of the river and how they meet and it looks like that she has kept the original direction of the rivers as well so I really like that and Mori's dream address is on the bottom right now if you wanted it to tour with me currently. If not, let's go through the villagers. We have Danae, Ryan, Maple, Molly, Bo, Eric, Grizzly, Teddy, B, Fauna, Bones, and Shep. So she has so many cuties. All right, let us get started. I purposely started here because Danae actually left out some presents for us and I love that they are wrapped in green wrapping paper. That is so cute. So let us see what it is. Wow, look at me, a baller with 299 bells <laughs> in my pockets. All right, bubble blowers. Okay, that's cute. Um, We have a ladder, a green balloon, and the Nook Incorporated Handheld Pennant. I think I'm gonna hold this around. Cute. Okay, so let us begin by the airport because we just had to pick up those gifts, but let's just start by there, shall we? Okay, so first of all, I want to talk about the island flag. The island flag is so cute. I love the little acorns and the cedar trees and then just the little tiny accents of the flowers. It looks very natural and very naturey and very welcoming. And as we walk into the island from the airport, there's this cute little log bench with the garden lantern and this gorgeous path that looks so natural and just so beautiful. To the right, we have these mountain bikes and I love this little simple layout and then the leaf pile, such cute details. The rocks back here are also my favorite rock custom codes. And I love that Danae like circles the trees with the padding. I think that makes it look very natural and really beautiful and just wonderful to look at. And we are graced by three kings already. What? That is crazy. Okay, so up here, it looks like we have a little picnic sign um, on top of the hill and a little mini waterfall. And then we have a little trail sign over here. I love that she decorated behind the trees, so we have like rock custom designs as well as the rock furniture to really brighten up the space. As we walk down here, oh, I'm guessing this is Ryan, hi! Welcome to Mori, happy to be here. I love this little tree stump and I just really love the all like the woodsy furniture that are placed and then we have some overgrown weeds and the mums and look how this just effortlessly sort of like draws your attention to the edge of the island i'm in love with this this is so pretty how it just encaptures the tree oh and then we have another like very naturey woodsy sign of like a hiking trail a campsite and a picnic area. Of course, we have the log bridge. I really like this brown and warm toned little picnic spread on the beach. That's really cute. And I think we're at the campsite. Yeah, so this is a really cute campsite. Look at this area. It's so pretty. Okay, I love the little pine cone and the little garden lantern over here. That is not a garden lantern. I think it's just called a lantern. And then on the back, we have a big bonfire, and on these rocks, we have a little stargazing, a little relaxed area as well. I love the overgrowth of the trees, 
and the weeds and just how the path just works so beautifully with this entire island. I think it embodies your whole like mountainous terrain and woodsy, foresty type of aesthetic as well. And look how simply decorated the hills are, but it just works so beautifully with the area. And look at these lovely log stakes. Just another detail that just really brightens up the space. So as we walk up here, we have just a little cute wood um, sign and then a beautiful suspension bridge across the waterfall and it's a sideways waterfall. I love those. Those are so pretty. Oh, look at this little tree stump. This is a really, really nice tree stump. And then we have a really cute sign of the rest area. I love the little map on there. And then there's like a little like do not enter sign. That's really cute. And then we have... We have a land bridge here! I love the wooden deck on this. Or like, I guess like the wooden planks. And then the fences to kind of border in the land bridge. And there's a little lookout with these log benches that are so cute. And here we are revisiting the cliff top that we saw before. And this actually leads from the resident services. And I think it is so cute because it's kind of like this cliff top picnic area. And look at the different bushes that are being used with the 3D elements of the leaf piles, which are so lovely to interact with when you walk over them. And then we just have a little nice street lamp here. Nothing too crazy, still really natural. And I just really love that. So as we go towards the back, we wanted to visit the museum. I believe this is Bo's house. It's Bo's or Teddy's. Oh, it's Eric's, so I was wrong. <laughs> I love the pine cone dropped here and then like the little watering item or furniture. And then in the back, we just have a really nice backdrop of the trees as well. It's just so nice and peaceful to look at. And this path works so well with all of the colors in the space. And I just love the stunted little trees. That's so cute. I wanted to visit here because this is a secret beach and just look how gorgeously placed these rocks are. With the overgrowth of the weeds, it just seems like this really like nature-y um, secret trail that leads to a private beach in the back here. So that is so nice. And there are also some, stun um, some stunted trees. That looks really pretty. I think stunted trees and regular grow uh, fully grown trees just provide a variety and just difference in um, height, which really brings a lot of life into an area. And then we have this really cute painting area here with a little cute wooden stool. And wow, what a lovely rock. <laughs> Oh, and in one of the previous um, videos, I completely like did not know what this is, but um, it's a cricket. Yay! <laughs> and then in front of the museum, we have a little lost item. I love using those for decorations, so this looks really, really nice. And I just really like that it's very natural and very simple, which really goes well with the entire island. I just love the way that Danae places the path, so it kind of goes around items. So you see how like it just goes around the tree, and then now it's going around the bush, but it like kind of like goes into the home because it's sort of like giving that appearance of a very lived-in um, place because like you have people walking on the path. To the left, we have this cute little pond and. Danae's house, I believe. So let's go in there. This is such a welcoming space. <gasps> wow. Okay, so I really love the whole log cabin um, wallpaper, but then you factor in the beautiful green, blue, and like light green colors throughout the space. I think it just brings in that woodsy, welcoming, and just very peaceful, nature-y um, 
I don't know what other synonyms are there. <laughs> um, it just brings in such like a welcoming vibe. And then we have a little room with twin beds and this looks like a really cute and cozy kids room and I love that they have a little hamster as a pet as well. It's so naturey and so peaceful, I love it. Everything ties together so well, so you have like the browns and the greens and the beige and it just looks so nice together. So the back is this cute little cozy kitchen. We have a little puppy plushie here. I love the table mats on this log table and look at just like the, I guess, homey touches. You have like a little microwave off to the side, your brooms and sweepers hanging, a little rooster um, painting. I don't think that's a painting. I guess like a tapestry and then look at this little cute turkey day pot that's on top with the green you see how everything just ties in together so well i love that there's just so much browns and greens and it's just very peaceful so here we have a really open space bathroom i love the lacy rug in the middle and the little shower that's on it and it's just streaming into the bathtub. I love these two canvases back here. I think that they are so nice in this space. Everything looks really pretty and so relaxing. I love how simple it is as well. You have the two hanging terrariums here and the log cabin wallpaper and this little pine wood flooring. It just looks so pretty. Up here we have the cutest master bedroom of some sort. There's some um, bookcases here for reading and a little sewing machine, more beautiful canvases or paintings on the wall, and then a little nice and warm fireplace. And I'm obsessed with this bedspread. It looks so cute. And the Green Mom's uh, tea cozy on the side is really precious as well. And then just a little details to make it more lived in. You have the wooden mirror and the wardrobe. It's really, really cute. So in the basement, we have this really awesome sort of like spa room with the little cypress baths. And look at the details with the bamboo candle and the bathrobe. I love the way that everything looks. It's just so nice. Like, can I, can I come here? Am I invited? <laughs> All right, on to the rest of the island. Look at this little cute stunted tree here. Ah, oh, that's so cute. Okay, so let's follow the path a little bit. I think we visited these houses here, but I just want to revisit them again. I love how everything is placed, all like the villager homes. They're not cramped together and they just look so natural at the same time. All right. Oh, and look, just this like small detail of the country fencing kind of bordering this ramp. I love that. It looks so pretty. A little destination signpost. Ooh, a little deer sign. That is so cute. And then here we have a little waterfall action and a mini pond between Danae's house and another villager's home. And we're getting a lot of difference in height here and I just really, really love that. Look at this little cute laundry area. I love the mums. Um, Bases. I think they are so cute. And in the back we have Eric. <laughs> Alright, so let's make our way to admire this gorgeous lake, shall we? I think we have to walk around. Oops, I'm getting stuck on everything. Alright, so, oh, another thing. Look at how simply decorated, but also like very detailed. Um, all the villager homes are. You have the little fishing rod and then just all these like wooden furniture next to it. I just love how simple but it's so nicely built and decorated. Look at all of this. Look at the welcome sign. Wow. And the decoy duck and look at this little cute um bag with the bear on it that's my favorite item to decorate with and it's on like the cutest lace custom design okay so let's go oh we have a little bear sign here and then just like 
let's point out this really, really strategically placed and wonderful, I guess, like cluster of trees. It just creates that really like uh, mountainous and very foresty vibe, which I really like because it is very welcoming. And on to the left, look at this cute little tiny library. We have a phone booth here and the street lamp. And I'm also just noticing that there are custom designs on the ground that are sort of blending in with the grass, but it does offer a little bit of variety in color and I love that. On the beach, we have a little fishing area here and, and then just a little camping area. I love the browns that are being used here. I think that they are so beautiful and peaceful. And then the little water custom design right underneath this decoy duck. That is so precious. Hi, Teddy. Excuse me. Alright, so we are walking up here and we have Able Sisters. Very natural and simple. I really like how Danae kept it very pretty and very like in alignment with her theme. I think that it just looks so pretty. And here we have a, a cute little lake sign. And wow, look at this big lake. Wow, that is so pretty. I love that it has a little seating area and this little lookout here. And then when you look in the back, you just see all that greenery, all that overgrowth of the flowers, and it's just so peaceful to look at. That is so pretty. All right, so next area. I do believe that we have a couple left. And you know what? To spice things up a little bit, I think we should just use the bubble blowers. And just, yes. <laughs> That is so cute. All right, so to the right, um, I, oh, I just love how this path is right next to the river and it just looks so pretty. Oh, look at this little cute picnic spread here. I love it. I love the brown tones. It's so, so pretty. And I didn't talk about this, but the festival garlands behind the log benches I mean, the green, yellow, blue with the brown looks so good together. And look at all these details. We have the weeds, the flowers, the variety of shrubs, the backwards campsite sign. Wow. And then over here, we have a little house and it's called Ranger on Duty. The little sign says that. And then we have these lumber um, equipment here. This is so precious. I, I can't. <laughs> and then over to the left um, from the entrance because we never visited here. But look at this, the stunted tree. The way the path winds and the river mouth here. I mean, we barely like stopped here, but let's just admire that. Look how pretty. It's just so lovely to look at. And then we have a little yellow butterfly gracing us with their beauty. And then up here, oh, look at the shrubs in the country fence. It just looks so pretty. We have this beautiful setup with nook's cranny, beautiful white flowers, and a plentiful of trees. And then the log benches. I love the usage of the log benches. And what? Look at these cardboard boxes off to the side. It looks so nice, like the detail in that. It is so pretty. Look at that. Like just this singular area alone, you have all these details in the back with the flowers, the weeds, and furniture. We have the diagonal signposts here. This is simply like amazing. I love this island. It is so peaceful and very natural and I think it just gives off the most welcoming vibes and I love this little wishing well in the back of resident services 
And look at the little island in the middle of the river with the decoy ducks. I love that. I love breaking up um, rivers with more land. I think that it just makes it look more natural, unless of course it's a lake. However, I do think that it is so, so nice. I think the Nae did such an exceptional job. This island is fantastic. I have never seen, um, I guess like a very like simple island that like you can tell so much effort has been invested into it but it looks so natural and effortless at the same time so i really love that and look at this little um uh, like this little like mini area i guess in the middle you have like two different trees a shrub a rock and the log sticks and the destination signpost it's just a very nice layer of items that really works super well with the area now with all that said, and with this lovely tour that has to come to an end, I am so in awe of Danae's island. I think Mori is so beautiful. I think it is definitely an island I would visit if I wanted some calming and peaceful vibes and just really, really lovely aesthetics as well. Let me know what you think of the island and what your favorite area is. I think my favorite area is the lake if I really had to choose one, but realistically, I just love the way that Danae includes items and utilizes space in her island. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by today. I appreciate you taking some time and spending it with me as we tour this wonderful island. Don't forget to show some love to Danae over on Twitter. Her Twitter and her dream address will be in the description if you wanted to visit Maury by yourself. Hope you have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and join the family if you'd like to and I will see you in my next video. Bye, have a great day!